A customer sent in this DS1815 Plus Synology device, and they stated there was a power surge. After that happened, the alert light started blinking, and right now when I'm powering it on, there we go, it is powering on and we do have that alert light. The alert light flashing is a very common fault, which I'll show you how to repair, as well as a few other common faults we see with this device. As for the power surge, it could have caused additional damage, so we'll have to look into that in a bit. First, let's open up the device. Now the alert light is most commonly triggered by a clock signal fault on the processor from it being out of spec. The common fix is to install a 100 ohm resistor between pin one and six of connector J5. So we're gonna start by doing that first and then recheck our symptoms. For perspective, J5 is right below the CMOS battery, just down here. So we're gonna start by tinning our pins over here. Now you may have also a different version where there are no pins, but instead you just have holes you where in that case you can go ahead and just feed the resistor through and solder it to the board. Since we have the pins over here, we're gonna solder it to the pins. All right, and I've also pre-tinned the resistor as well. Okay, if we look at it at an angle, we do have good contact, it's all nice and tight. Okay, let's plug it in, power it on, and see what we got. Okay, we're plugged in, let's power it on. Let's go ahead and power it on. Let's go ahead and power it on. Let's go ahead and power it on. All right, took a few tries, but it is blinking now. And it just went off. Huh. Okay, so our device seems to be completely dead. I can't actually power it on. I did have the blue light appear just for a few seconds and then it went away. Uh, it appeared again a couple seconds and went away, but now I'm, I'm not getting it back. So this actually leads me to another repair that is common that we need to do with the Synology devices, which is the CMOS battery. These devices were manufactured in, I believe, 2014, so it's about nine years old, which is the amount of time that it takes before these CMOS batteries start failing commonly. So let's go ahead and replace that next. All right, so taking a look at our CMOS battery, we have 1.0 volts. Here is a new one, 3.25. So brand new, they're supposed to be about 3.3, 3.25, 3.26, that's good. As long as it's above three, typically you're good. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that back in. All right, we're plugging it back in. Let's take a look here. Hey, now we have power the first time I pressed it, which is good. And it looks like our alert light is no longer flashing. So it looks like we got rid of the alert light, but stop, don't leave the video yet. There's two reasons why you should stick around to the end. And number one is there are two other repairs that we need to do to ensure that this device does not fail again in the near future. And number two is you have to like and subscribe first. Okay, turns out that the device did shut off and it did not finish initializing, but we are more consistently getting power now. Okay. It looks like it booted through. We have a green status light. I'm not entirely sure why it took a couple tries for it to turn on and boot in all the way, but I do have a hunch that it's related to the next to the next repair we're about to show you. So we have our Q4 transistor over here. That's what we're gonna be focusing on next. So it is known to go out of spec and eventually fail. It does have the PS online going through it. So what'll happen is it'll throw false off signals um, by voltage rising slightly. So we're gonna replace it right now and that should resolve that issue. To replace it, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a lot of solder on both sides. We'll go ahead and get rid of some of that excess now. We'll add a tiny little bit more on one side. Put our new one in. Just like that.
give it a quick little clean. And finally, our last repair will be on the power supply. The reason that the Q4 transistor fails is because of an overcurrent on the PS Online. So we're gonna replace a resistor and mount this power supply so that we can reduce that and extend the life of the Q4 transistor. So we're gonna be looking at this daughter board over here. And there's the green wire, which is our PS On. And that green wire goes, is the second uh, pin over here. And if we follow that, we find this resistor 392. So we're gonna remove it and we're gonna replace it with a 103, which is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So same technique as the Q4 transistor, we're going to add solder to both sides, remove it, and then using desolder wick, we'll go ahead and remove that excess we put on. Now I'm gonna add actually a little bit back on one of the pads. And this time around, because it's a really small component, we're gonna add some flux to this whole situation to help with the soldering. All right, and we'll go ahead and clean that up. All right, we can go ahead and close the power supply back up. And final boot up here. Power it on first try. So the reason I say power it on first try is because when the CMOS battery starts going out, sometimes you have to press that power button twice, three times, five times sometimes before it turns on. So if you have that issue, typically CMOS battery is the fault. Okay, and in initialize, we have our status light. We just got our initialization beep. I'm gonna plug in the ethernet, make sure we see it on the network. And the LAN light is flashing very quickly. Okay, it is detecting the DS1815+. plus. All right, it is in the system. All right, so my conclusion is that the power surge actually did not affect this device. It did have several things that needed to be done for it to be completely refurbished and repaired, um, but I think it's just a coincidence that it just ended up happening when the power surge went out. But you, we did go over all of the most common faults we see with this device. If you wanna send in your DS1815 Plus device for repair, we'll have links in the video description below. Otherwise, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.